what up team so you guys hi you guys ah, listen I want to encourage somebody today about marriage and the prophetic word that you have received concerning marriage will come to pass I feel like testifying you know I always testify I'm just that kind of minister where I just testify told me months you know uh, before I actually met Tron that I was gonna meet somebody from New York it's gonna be tall from New York and I was like okay she just kept saying woman of God I hear New York I hear New York and see God knows what he's doing when I got that prophecy I just remember crying I was on my face I was laid out before God. I said, God, I am tired of being lonely. I'm tired, God, of being single, spending every birthday by myself, every holiday by myself. God, when am I going to get married? See, a lot of you guys, you feel like that. You feel like, God, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm on the verge of just losing it. I'm, I'm getting ready to give up. Lord, I've been waiting for my husband. I've been waiting for my wife for forever. And that's how I felt, you know, so I remember crying, y'all, for like weeks, just so sad. And I was just like, God, I just, this is just miserable. I'm not happy. Lord, this is miserable. And at the right time, God sent me someone that operates in the prophetic to give me a word. You're going to meet somebody from New York. And that's tall. Well, we know Tron Moses, he's tall. He's taller than me, right? and he's from brooklyn so i was like okay wow see god knows what he's doing i, I want to give you a scripture amen i want you to meditate on this Habakkuk uh, 2 and verse 3 which is beautiful you know a lot of you got visions of words about prophecy amen and guess what it is for an appointed time you know maybe you have gotten a word in this season and it seemed like it's never gonna happen it's never gonna come to pass it will come to pass just like my word come to pass that i'm going to meet somebody from new york amen so god is good so it's it's for an appointed time you know maybe god is not ready to release that spouse to you yet but does not mean that he will not release it to you amen i'm gonna say it again maybe it is not the time the right time the right environment for god to release that spouse to you yet the word e y e t yet that means it's not final that means okay at a later date amen that means on hold on pause see a lot of you guys right now you got a prophetic word that's on hold that's on pause yet that that doesn't mean that god won't do it amen because god is going to do it all right so though the vision the prophecy the dream it waits for an appointed time it's for an appointed time and it may seem like it's never going to happen i need some people right now to get your faith up i need some people right now just to believe god all right so let's get back into the word though the vision is for an appointed time amen but it's it's you know it's, it's going to happen it's going to manifest it's not going to lie amen it's going to come to pass because the counsel of the Lord is final. The counsel of the Lord will stand. That's the beautiful thing, right? That's the beautiful thing. So it seems like it's tearing. It seems like it's waiting forever. I'm like, ah, oh, God, I'm getting frustrated. Hold on. Hold on. Just like I, I met somebody, amen, from New York. Like the woman of God spoke in my life. It, it came to pass. Amen. It came to pass. And your prophetic word is going to come to pass. Amen. I want to prophesy and, 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 and decree and declare over you that your word, I'm going to war with your prophecy. Because a lot of people, you don't even have the strength to war with your prophetic word. I'm going to war with your prophecy that it's going to come to pass. Amen. That God is not a man that whom he shall lie. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that this is your year. That God will connect you to your man of God, to your woman of God. 
God. This is your year, somebody, that that word is going to manifest. I need somebody to wipe their eyes and just put a smile on your face and just believe God and begin to give God praise. Begin to give God glory because it's going to manifest. Let's, Let's write, write the, book. the book. Got an idea for a book, but don't know how to get started? Let's work together and turn those ideas into a manuscript. After the manuscript is complete, there's an opportunity to get it published by Rejoice Essential Publishing. You will receive over eight hours of training by yours truly, Kimberly Hargraves. I'm an author of 13 books and more to come. I want to show you everything I know so you can become that published author that you always dreamed of becoming. Let's get back into this word. Amen. Do it, Terry. Wait for it. Just like I had to wait for my prophecy to come to pass. I felt miserable. I felt like I was going to die. I was on the floor, you know, day and night for about just maybe three weeks at a time. I said, God, I don't want to do this no more. God, I'm tired of feeling sad. God, I'm tired of going through the motions. But just like God manifested the word of my life, why wouldn't God manifest the word in your life? I said, why wouldn't God manifest the word in your life? Just like he manifested the prophetic word in my life. Amen. Telling me engagement and marriage. And, you know, just just look at what God is doing in my life. Amen. You know, hello. You know, left hand ministry, you know. Come on. Why, why wouldn't God do it for you? You know, you're special to God. God cares about you. Amen. Some people right now, you've been doubting God. Some people just gave up. Some people just got frustrated. Come on now. Is it the time to quit and be frustrated about the process? See, I believe God didn't give me, you know, I'm going to be real transparent to somebody. I believe in that season when I was crying, God was like, I wasn't ready for it because God was still doing some things in me. Amen. And when you are in a relationship, Amen. It takes a little bit of time away from God, you know, to, to focus on your husband, focus on your wife. But when you're single, you can get a lot more done. And that's, that's just the truth of the matter. But when you're married and you're in a relationship, you got to try to balance everything. Amen. You got to try to spend time with your husband. You got to spend, you clean up the house. You got to uh, spend time with your kids, just things like that. Come on now. And you got to put God first place, right? And spend time with the Lord. So, listen. Embrace your singleness. But remember, never stop believing. Never stop hoping. Because that prophetic word concerning marriage over your life is going to come to pass. The word of God tells us to wait for it. Do it, Terry's. Wait for it. Amen? Because it's going to come. Surely it's going to come. Amen? It's going to come. So, listen. God is good. God is good. Amen. So I just thank God for what I have in my life. Amen. The man of God, he always helps me to become better. You know, we're, we're friends. We can joke around. We can talk. Amen. And, you know, we just better each other. So listen, work on you in this time when you're waiting. Work on you. What do you mean, prophetess? Work on you. Work on becoming that wife. Work on becoming that husband. Work on becoming all you can be in Christ Jesus. And then at the right time, that prophetic word is going to manifest. It's going to fall upon your lap. Literally, you know, just, I, listen, I got to the point where, you know, marriage has always been my desire. But I said, God, I, I want you more than I want a husband. And I meant everything I said out of my mouth. And it came to pass. Amen. It came to pass. All right. So I love you guys. I pray this encourage you. And I just pray strength upon you. I pray God's blessing upon you. I decree and declare that this season, that word is going to come to pass. I stand on it. I feel the fire of God. I feel his presence even manifesting even now. Amen. So I love you guys. Deuces.